Minasan konnichiwa, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing my Get Unready With Me in Japan. If that sounds like your thing, then please go ahead and channel the look. Shichatte kudasai. So the current hotel I am staying at in Japan had this beautiful golden hour light shining into the room at this time of day. So I was like, why not? I'll do a get on ready with me using my newly purchased Japanese skincare. I've been here for about two weeks now. And honestly, I think you guys would be shocked at how little I've bought so far. I keep going into drugstores and like looking at everything, but not doing like huge purchases. But don't worry. I think at the end of the trip, I will definitely have a big, um, assortment of J Beauty to introduce to you guys. Today I'm going to be showing the routine that I've been doing probably for the past week or so. A lot of the products are new to me and some are products that I already knew that I loved and I repurchased being here because it is definitely cheaper to buy here in Japan. First, we're going to put on a headband. I bought this at Tokyo Disneyland and it is so adorable. Dumbo headband and Dumbo is Logan's favorite like Disney character. So I bought him a little hand towel that matched this headband. So I'm going to pop that on. Oh, how cute. I love it. I'm not wearing a ton of makeup, but I do have waterproof mascara on. So first things first, I'm going to be using the Heroin Make Speedy Mascara Remover. I have introduced this many, many times on my channel and it is just the easiest way to remove waterproof mascara. As soon as I saw it over here, I just repurchased it because I'm like, I know I'm going to go through it anyway. It's about 880 yen. I feel like about 900 yen here in Japan in most places, which is definitely cheaper than buying it online. I feel like I see it absolutely everywhere, like drugstore, beauty store, no matter where you go, you will be able to find this. So it is definitely a recommendation if you wear waterproof mascara. Basically, you just brush it on to your lashes and then the oils kind of help to melt down that waterproof proof makeup. While that works it's magic we're going to use a cleansing oil to cleanse the rest of my face. The cleansing oil I am using is the Funkiru mild cleansing oil. This one is honestly super super popular in Japan. I'm going to use about two pumps. It's been around for honestly such a long time and for me when I was younger I feel like it was a slightly more expensive brand like it's honestly not that bad at all but I feel like when I was young I didn't use any skincare that cost more than like a thousand yen ten dollars so I never reached for it but I know it is so popular here and a lot of you guys actually asked what my opinion on it was so I finally purchased it it feels lovely first of all like it is a very comfortable oil I can't remember the main oil ingredients so I'll pop it up on the screen somewhere but two pumps is honestly plenty for the whole face and it does wash off very easily it does remove makeup easily and like I get why it's popular I still feel like I love my Muji Mild Cleansing Oil. Like, it's just good. I just haven't found anything that's quite as good. And this is definitely more expensive, so I'll have to keep using it. But, like, it's kind of like melt on your skin. It does feel super luxurious, like lovely texture. And we'll go in on the eyes. And since I've used that Hero and Make Mascara Remover, it's like removing the rest of the makeup super easy. So we don't have to really tug on the eyes to remove, right? It's like off, yeah, it's like off. This one also doesn't sting when I open my eyes. You can also use it with wet hands and face. So you can use it in the bathroom or the shower, which I have been doing. I've been leaving getting there and just cleansing my face while I take a shower. And there we go. I think we're pretty well cleansed. So I'm going to go wash this off. I'll be right back. Alrighty, now that I have cleansed that off, I'm going to move on to my second step cleanser and I'm using the Minon Amino Moist Gentle Wash Whip. So this one is a self-foaming foam, so I'm going to use about three pumps, a really nice light kind of fluffy foam. I forgot to mention at the start, but my skin has been suffering from like an allergic reaction to the hay fever here in Japan. And apparently it's like really, really bad this year. It's like 12 times as bad as last year and like the worst it's ever been in 10 years. I always get pretty terrible hay fever, like whether it's in Japan or Australia. I feel like symptoms wise, my eyes get a little like red and etc. But my skin has been suffering where it gets little 
red bumps or really textured on my skin from the hay fever and like reaction to the pollen so I have been keeping my routine pretty simple like I haven't been using many ingredients that are sensitizing or kind of active ingredients just because I want to keep my skin as not inflamed and stressed as possible but this the Minon Foam is one of their best selling products and it is perfect for sensitive skin. It is free from a lot of um, irritants like fragrance, alcohol, like all of those things that could possibly sensitize your skin. It really doesn't have a fragrance or anything and it does feel really light and gentle on the face. Anyway, this has probably been on my face for way longer than it needs to be so I'm gonna go wash it. We now have a freshly cleansed face. I feel like in this lighting like my skin really doesn't look that bad but my pores have been so open and textured since being here we also do have the aircon on pretty much consistently or not the aircon but like the air cycle in the hotel room so I feel like that's contributing to my dehydration and textured skin I am misting with this toner the Arouge moisture mist lotion number two so this one was actually a recommendation of my aunties who lives here in Japan and she honestly has such amazing skin for her age she is turning 62 this year and her skin is like flawless and she said she always comes back to this toner whenever her skin is feeling um sensitized so i bought it because as i said my skin has been a little sensitized from the hay fever it is again a really simple kind of additive free toner and you often do find it in this section for sensitive skin at the drugstore in japan as well it is definitely a little bit more pricey in terms of drugstore skincare i think it's about almost three thousand yen for a bottle of toner but it was her recommendation I'm like yeah I'll get it it's really lightweight really watery but still hydrates deeply and you can feel that hydration without any tackiness on your skin I think there's three levels of moisture or two levels of moisture but I went for number two because they do have number one number two in the toner and it's kind of like a skin barrier replenishing skin barrier protecting um toner I can't remember what the ingredients are I can't remember the ingredients in like most of these things because I haven't had them for a long time but I'll make sure to put up some info on the screen for you guys so that's like a quick layer of that toner my skin's already looking a lot more hydrated and alive but as i said my cheeks have been suffering and the pores have been very noticeable so i'm going to be doing a little bit of a diy mask the cotton pads i'm using is the shirukoto half sponge cotton but it is the new vc plus version apparently i don't know how they've done it but apparently they have added vitamin c and niacinamide to the cotton pads I don't know if that is beneficial in any way because I feel like how do you put those ingredients on these cotton pads? I don't know how that works. But the price is the same as the normal ones. So I'm like, oh, well, if the price is the same, I'm just going to get the one with more benefits, whether it's um, very effective or not. So far, I honestly can't tell you the difference, but I'm going to keep using it anyway. But I'm soaking this with another toner just because the Aruju one is a little bit pricey and I don't want to waste it on my DIY cotton masking. The second toner that I'm using is the Matsukio brand ceramide in skin lotion so matsukyo is possibly my favorite drugstore in japan or one of my favorites it was the one i always went to when i was younger and in school because there was one literally like a two minute walk from my grandparents place so i used to go there all the time and it is still one of my favorite drugstores here in japan and they're probably one of the fewer drugstores that actually have a lot of their own produced brands and products so they have multiple skincare lines that was produced by the actual drugstore and this is their just like simple one it literally just says like Matsukyo and that's like the brand name and that's the drugstore name but this 500 ml bottle like huge bottle of toner was about 500 yen so I was like Psh, yes I'll get it and I'll use it especially for DIY masking because I can use a lot of product without feeling bad and this one is the ceramide one so of course lovely for our skin it is also free from added colorants um, artificial fragrance I believe I don't think I 
actually has any fragrance and it does have glycerin when it has like um fermented rice extract and collagen and multiple types of ceramides so for how cheap it is like literally five bucks for half a liter like it's got really good ingredients and it is pretty deeply hydrating even if i use it just in my palm and apply it it's got like a little bit of a viscous texture to it and it is really hydrating so i've been doing these mini sheet masks just for a couple of minutes to try to replenish my hydration and kind of help smooth out the pores here while that soaks i'm gonna grab a little drink because i've been getting hot sitting in the sun here <laughs> I've never tried this before. Fanta Yogurt Rush Maruyaka Ichigo. It's a Fanta yogurt strawberry flavor. What? I honestly, me and Logan love going to the grocery store in Japan. It's like our theme park, and we literally just look at all like the groceries, the drinks, the snacks, and that alone is like enough, <laughs> enough fun. Ooh. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's really good. It's kind of like karupusu or kalpiko, but like with yakult and strawberry, maybe. It's really good though. <sighs> well, I think it's been a couple of minutes and the sun is starting to go away. So we're gonna move on with our routine. So I'm gonna just remove these. What I always like to do, take a couple of them and just go down my neck. And because I'm going to follow and do my skincare routine with my hands and I don't want my hands to have any dust or be dirty, I like literally just <laughs> wipe it along my hands and get that little bit of extra hydration on my hands as well. So we're all hydrated and moist. I'm just going to pat that in slightly. Because the sun's right here, I can't really tell what my skin looks like. Looking good, looking hydrated. Now, I'm not actually going to use like a serum serum because I haven't really found one that I've been like super interested in over here. And honestly, serums are just like not as common, I feel like, in Japanese skincare. At least at drugstore level, they're not as common. I actually got the Sweet Almond Oil from Muji. In the past, I actually used to use their jojoba oil even on my face to add a little bit of moisture. I'm literally just going to take like one... Two, just two drops. And I'm gonna warm it on my hands and just press it into my cheeks. Oh, wow, yeah, it doesn't really feel too greasy on the skin. This is the first time I'm using it. I just feel like my skin has been dehydrated and dry since being here, so I needed a little bit of that extra moisture. And I said a lot of people love using this one for their hair as well as like hand care and nail care. You can really use it all over your body, on your hair and on your face, so. Mm. Next, we're going to be using an eye cream. This is the Gokujin Premium Eye Cream. Eye cream was another product that I found quite hard to find them in drugstores. Like, the ones in drugstores were, like, really expensive. I'm just going to take that much and apply it. But I had seen this Hadarabo one around and I was like, yeah, I'll just try it because you guys know that I love Hadarabo. But I don't think I'm a huge fan, if I'm honest. It's a little bit sticky. A little bit. It's quite sticky. It doesn't seem to apply very smoothly and stretch very well. So probably not my favorite in terms of texture so far, but I have been trying it. I'm just going to put in my laugh lines around my eyes and a little bit across that line I've got there on my forehead. I have been trying to avoid breakouts and mainly I only get them on my chin. I've only had like, I think one since being here. I'm not gonna say it a lot. I'm gonna knock on wood so I don't get any more. But I did repurchase my absolute holy grail um, spot treatment, the Pear Acne Cream. This one, like I can use it every day, morning and night without even thinking or feeling like I'm using a spot treatment. And that's why I kind of like probably overuse it. Like don't even use it when I need to. It uses like an anti-inflammatory and antibacterial ingredients to prevent breakouts as well as treat them. So even though I don't have them right now, I always get them on my chin area. So I'm just going to apply a really thin layer to make sure that none pop up. And again, it just blends into nothing. It wears so well underneath makeup. For the last step for moisturizer, it's actually not a new product and it is not a Japanese product, but I'm going to be using the Pecan Kato Cream. Reason being, I just feel safe 
with this product. I know I can use it no matter what my skin is going through, no matter what the condition. And my aunt also advised me that she started using this when her skin started reacting to the hay fever here. And she said it's been really working well on her sensitized skin. So I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to take any risks. I need some stability in my skincare routine. So I decided to open up my last tube of Keto Cream um, just because I know it works for me. And I am so glad that I brought it because my skin has been a little going through a little bit because of the allergies. So I'm going to seal all of that in with my Keto Cream. It's just the perfect texture, perfect moisture. And I've been using it literally every day, morning and night. I haven't bought any other new moisturizers yet. Well, there you have it. That was my Get Unready With Me in Japan. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I have been trying to film content for you guys in Japan, of course, but I'm also just enjoying my time here. So I do apologize if my uploads are kind of all over the place and like not really in order or on schedule. But you know, it's been four years since I've been here. That's a pretty big deal. This is my second home and where I was born and where I lived and all of that. So The rest of the day, me and Logan are just going to go eat some kaiten sushi close by. We actually haven't had that much sushi yet. I think we've only had it like twice, so we're going to go get sushi for dinner. And yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, wait, let's put on lip balm. I got a new lip balm to show you guys. I got the Nivea Deep Moisture Honey Flavor, but in the melty type, which is somewhat new. Always loved the Nivea Deep Moisture, the one that's in like a normal yellow tube. But this one is like a melty type, and as you can see, you can see like the honey melting off of it. It's like best of two worlds. It's like the Nivea one and the Melty Cream Lip like combined. It is so like melty, juicy, makes your lips so plump and so moisturizing. If you come by this one, gotta get it. Like see, makes your lips so like but it doesn't feel heavy and it's really like slippery, glossy, balmy on your lips. So I've definitely been enjoying that. There's still going to be plenty more Japan content to come. So make sure you are subscribed so you can keep up with that. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.